work tirelessly to care for my kids, clean the house, and satisfy my wife's every need. But she just uses me and puts me down constantly. So I finally told her I'm done. Hi, everyone. I, 30M, and my wife, 28F. So my wife is indeed a beautiful lady. I'm not interested in cheating or going behind her back. She just thinks we don't have a lot of sex because I have a low sex drive. Truth is, we don't have a lot of sex because we have it the way she wants it, and little to never how I want it. I'm all for using toys and whatever else to help her climax as many times as possible. I'm a huge fan of oral and go for days but she scarcely returns the favor. She once said, if you shower before bed I'll do it. So for a week straight I made sure I was showered and clean because let's be real who wants to go down on a smelly person, totally reasonable request. So I would pleasure her and then indicate I'd like to be on the receiving end. To no avail. I have a high sex drive but she has become a selfish lover and coming from a man, it's pretty comical to say this. I have no words at this point and I'm pretty close to just giving up sex altogether. More info, I have a good stable career and my wife is a stay-at-home mom. She comes from a traditional home where the husband works and the wife stays at home to cook, clean, maintain the home slash raises the kids. I come from an extremely abusive and narcissistic family but I have vowed that the abuse stops with me. My wife and kids are my world and I make damn sure they know it. But lately, it feels like unless I do everything to the point where my wife just gets to sit and relax while I do all the chores, take care of the kids, cook, and everything, she makes me feel like I'm not doing enough. She calls it the bare minimum. It's not. I work my ass off tirelessly and constantly. We went to a counseling session where I said I feel like I have a babysitter and not a wife. That went over about as well as you can imagine. No matter how much sleep I get, it's not enough. If a kid wakes up, I'm the one who gets them. I'm exhausted. I need a break. I'm tired of being put down for everything. If I bring up an issue, it's twisted into something I do slash did and I wind up apologizing and trying to improve myself. Edit, yes I have talked to my wife plenty of times about this reciprocity issue. A lot of you guys said the same thing which hey, emotional maturity is fucking impossible to find but yes. I am wide open with my concerns in more than just the sexual aspect of our marriage. Update 1, I made my signature dish because it was demanded by my in-laws that I make it. We go over for food and such. After we eat I took a little snooze on the couch. My wife woke me up and said hey, I need you to watch the kids. I'm gonna have some wine. I mean alright no problem. So while she was drinking and playing games with her family, I got put on kid duty for all the kids, I'm also the fun uncle so I didn't really care, I did care as my wife got progressively more and more intoxicated. When we left I literally had to throw her over my shoulder while carrying both kiddos to the car. We got home, I made her drink water, got the kids around and put them to sleep, and helped my wife sober up a bit. We watched some TV and surprisingly, she cuddled into me and thanked me for taking care of her and the kids and she didn't mean to have so much wine. Alright, I'm always pleased with self-awareness. Literally, just that little bit washed away any irritation I had. I carried her to bed and laid her down. Got her some water and ibuprofen, and a bucket just in case, and got her set up in bed. About two hours later I heard my son crying so I went to get him. He had some nightmares so I got him settled down, and put him back to bed. A few hours later my daughter woke up because she peed through her pull-up. I got her back to sleep. When I got back into bed my wife was awake. I asked what was wrong. Her response was I was drunk. And you didn't even try to do anything to me? No, because even if we are married I'm not going to take advantage of you. That's pathetic. I laid back down and she said if you want we can have sex before you go back to bed? Mind you this was 4.30, and I was fucking beat and my mental fortitude was gone and this is. In my personal opinion, not the correct way to respond said if you want to have sex, you're gonna have to help me up first. I'm not aroused and I'm not doing anything to get it going. She goes well I guess never mind. A couple of hours later the alarm went off, I got up. Got the kids around and my coffee. She comes out a few hours later dressed and says why didn't you wake me up? You were up like four times with the kids. I was gonna let you sleep. Nah it's okay. You didn't even budge at my alarm this morning so I figured you still needed to sleep. Why are you dressed? She said the girls wanna go Black Friday shopping and was wondering if I wanted to go. Nah. I'll hang out with the kids and watch movies. They are gonna have a rough day. And that brings me to now. Having a cuddly movie day with my kids who are tired. She's out shopping. And I need another cup of coffee. Update 2. So a lot has happened since Thanksgiving slash Black Friday. After we put the kids down on Saturday, I sat my wife down and told her for the first time she was going to listen to what I had to say and she will not interrupt or say anything back. I explained everything, how I'm feeling so awful because of her lack of interest. Because of her laziness and how it's not okay to just simply not exist because I come home from work. I explained it's not okay anymore to be a selfish lover because I am too good of a man slash husband to feel unworthy of love. The rest of the night she didn't really say much. The following morning, I woke up suddenly to my kids playing in the living room. I instinctively ran out to see what they were into and how big of a mess there was. To my surprise, my wife was playing with them. 
She said she was sorry that she woke me up. She didn't realize how her lack of attention and interest was hurting me so much. So far so good. Monday rolls around. I posted in the dead bedroom subreddit to maybe get some advice on how to get my wife more interested in having sex. Someone suggested maybe she was being a pain in the ass and using me going down on her as a way to get her rocks off. I didn't even think of this possibility, so I asked bluntly if that was what she was doing. She responded with yes. That's what she was doing but figured since I loved it so much that it was okay. That me going down on her multiple times was all I wanted. Nope. I didn't say much after that and kinda just stared off into space thinking about how I was nothing better than a sex toy to her. Then, I woke up early this morning feeling aroused as all hell so I decided I was going to wake her up the way she likes and give it one last Hail Mary attempt. I got into position and. Nope. She's too tired. At this point. Seriously. I am really stunned. Edit, so a lot of you guys have said to stop giving. So last night and this morning I kept to myself. When she rolled out of bed, she was pretty much pissed immediately. She kicked a pile of small boxes that I had neatly put together to take outside for garbage day. She was tossing things that were in her way. Had a short temper towards our kids, this did not fly and you best believe Papa Bear came out, and was saying nasty things as I was heading at the door because I didn't make her coffee this morning. Update she cancelled our marital counseling session without telling me so we didn't go last night. She felt it was a waste of time when there was nothing wrong with our marriage. Took that time to deep clean my kitchen out of anger after my kids went down because I genuinely did not have it in me to even look at her. I have refused to give her any sexual attention and I can see the frustration on her face about it. I'm still holding strong but it really sucks when that was literally the only attention that our marriage had anymore. Pretty much a single dad at this point. Update, it's been about 5 days since I did it and my wife is acting short-tempered and cranky but has not initiated anything. Last night we got into a big disagreement about some stuff and divorce was put on the table not just because of our DB but because of a plethora of other issues. I have also decided that I'm going to up my fitness. I've been doing boxing to enjoy the full body workout but now, I'm going to do my best to become a certified DILF. If I can get super fit and she still doesn't find me attractive enough to actually initiate. Then I have no clue what else to do. Update 3, I am writing this, sitting in my shower with tears of confusion streaming down my face. After a pretty big fight, I told my wife to go sleep at her parents house for the next few days. At this point, I'm emotionally, physically, and spiritually drained. A week before Christmas we discussed with my in-laws taking the kids over to spend the day with them to have a day to ourselves with my wife. So, I woke up early. Got them dressed, fed, and out the door. Dropped them off at their grandparents. Came back, and my wife was still sleeping. I immediately went to work by picking up the living room, vacuumed, made sure everything was nice and tidy. Went into the kitchen, put away the dishes that were washed the night prior, swept, mopped, and wiped down counters where I missed the night before. She came out around 9 a.m., asked where the kids were, explained, and was immediately met with annoyance. Asked why I would just pawn our kids off. They aren't her parents' responsibility, we literally never ask her parents for anything which is why they were actually excited to spend the day with them, etc. I made her a coffee and kept cleaning. Scrubbed the bathroom floor to ceiling every nook and cranny, swept mopped. Cleaned laundry room from top to bottom, put away all of our clothes, cleaned both kids' rooms. You get the idea. She took a nap at 12. Woke up at 4.30ish. I had laid out a nice little date outfit for her so we could go out and have a little date. She told me she didn't feel like going anywhere. Fair enough. Let me cook for you, it's more intimate that way anyway. Made one of her favorites. Was flirting with her the entire time I was cooking. Opened a bottle of wine, and I came into the living room wearing a nice suit. To see the outfit I picked out for her still on the counter. Okay. We ate, and cuddled up watching a TV show for a little bit I tried to get a little more intimate and she said she was too tired. The next day she spent the whole day picking at each and every decision I made. Second, guessing everything to the point of me getting a hairline close to blowing a gasket. Then, two typical days of me waking up with kids, feeding them, working, cooking, and cleaning. Nothing really to report. Until today. Three days before Christmas. I left a roast out for her to put in the slow cooker. I had to leave for work early so I didn't have the time. I texted her the instructions. If anyone knows, an all-day slow cooker roast is literally the most comfort of comfort meals. At least for me, it is. I texted her around 3 expressing how excited I was to come home for this roast. Um. I didn't put it in. Okay. That really sucks but I'll do it tomorrow. I asked her to just pull out the chicken so it can thaw out. She didn't even do that. The moment I walked through the door. She went and sat in the shower. While she was in the shower, and I was cooking. My daughter got into her makeup. While cleaning her up I told her she was beautiful enough as is and I didn't think she needed this. And from the next room, my wife yelled at me to not make her feel bad or put her down. So I asked her, how would you like for me to handle this if it happens again? The absolute venom in her response genuinely upset me because it's an innocent question. 
This led to us arguing the entire time to ourselves, me trying to hold off until the kids went down. Her yelling in my face. After we got the kids down, I went to her car, started it, came back in and let her yell for a few more minutes, and then told her to get the fuck out of my house. That she is done speaking to me like I'm trash. That I deserve better. That I deserve to be loved. That I am a better husband than she ever deserved on her best day. She fought with me on leaving but I got her some clothes, put them in my duffel bag, and gave it to her. Phone charger and everything she needed. When she told me she was taking the kids with her, my cool and calm demeanor instantly snapped. I'm not a physically imposing person. I'm not a rude or mean person. I stepped right to her face and without touching her, told her if she thinks she can take my kids from me, she can try. She left. Her dad, who is a man I have great respect for, came over. Asked for my side. I explained, and he put his hand on my shoulder. Didn't say a word. Just stood up. Walked to the door and turned to me. Tears in his eyes as well, said I didn't raise her like that. So here I am. Mad. Sad. Hurt. Broken. Thank you all for reading and giving me your support. A lot of you said nice things. Some of you called me a doormat. I'm proud to say I stood up for myself and my children. I have already sat down with lawyers to discuss an exit strategy and I'm scared to death I'll lose my kids. Hopefully, the next update is a positive one. Update 4. So, the night after I asked my wife to leave for a few days. Her dad came back over. We had a really good talk about what's going on with my wife. He, like many of you, came to the conclusion she was depressed. Told her that she needed to get off her butt and get help or she was going to lose her family. Literally, nothing I haven't said to her already 100 times over. It was nearing bedtime for my kids and he knew that so he asked if he could take my kids with him that night so they could do Christmas Eve in the morning with them. Mind you this was Christmas Eve Eve so I allowed it. Got their clothes together and sent them on their way. My house was deadly quiet and that was upsetting in its own right. I decided to have a few drinks and ask myself if this is what my life would be if I left her for good. An empty house. No laughter for my kids. Knowing they aren't sleeping but a few feet from me in a different room. It felt wrong. The following morning I went over to her parents for Christmas Eve. Played the good dad and husband. Got toy gifts for everyone. Spent the whole day doing my best to put on that brave face. When it came time to go, I asked my wife to come home with me. I didn't want my kids to wake up Christmas morning without their mom. I put the kids down. Finished wrapping gifts and went to bed a little early. I got the wife a new copy of Pokemon Scarlet, new headphones, kids broke hers, a new Kindle since she wanted a waterproof one, and a foot warmer since her feet are always cold when she sits at her desk. I got, from her, a new desk mat. Which honestly was spot on I needed it. Then, New Year's Eve rolled around. Put the kids down. I sat with her on the couch and told her we need to talk. To figure something out because we both know we are at the edge of a cliff and I'm ready to jump. I tell her to just talk to me. Tell me anything. Tell me she's depressed. Tell me there's something wrong. Hell, I will even take you telling me you're having an affair because at least you're talking to me. What she said next kinda rocked me. She said she loves me as the father of her kids but she doesn't love me anymore and she's been trying to figure out how to say it for months. She used me as a tool to climax, she took all her frustration out on me and used me as a punching bag and it pissed her off knowing that no matter what she did, that I never stopped being warm. Never stopped being kind. Never stopped being thoughtful. Never for a day decided to stoop to her level. She thought that I was no longer interested in her physically since I stopped initiating the intimacy. I corrected her. She objectified my love of giving. She told me no too many times. She treated me like I was some idiot who at no point knew what I was doing when it came to everyday tasks. No one wants to have sex with someone who is constantly making them feel unworthy. We came to the conclusion that we both are here for the kids. It's unhealthy and not fair to either of us. It's not fair to the kids. I've been watching single dad videos and looking at other subreddits, forums. Basically, everything and I'm terrified of the next steps. We both agreed that if divorce came to pass, we would be as amicable as possible for our kids. We don't want any resentment or unkind feelings to get in the way of what's best for them. I am already in therapy. I'm encouraging her to get some as well. I need to sleep but I haven't slept right since. Even as I'm writing this I'm in bed feeling pretty numb. Update 5, hey all. I appreciate every one of you for following along with me on this. Journey. I come bearing good news. To catch everyone up since the last update, it's been your standard wife just vibing while I clean, cook, take care of the house, and everything else. For the past few weeks, I've been working on myself. Working out, eating better, drinking more water, and just really focusing on myself when the kids aren't around. Last night it really came to a head, however. I've been having a depressive spell the past few days and really just have no motivation for anything extra. She looked at me and asked me why do you look so down these past couple of days. It could have been the sleep deprivation, or depression, honestly I don't know but I responded with it's really hard to be happy when you're around. 
We sat for a little bit in silence and I just told her that I'm tired of constantly being belittled, yelled at, and treated like I'm never good enough while she sits on her perch and a broken record and barks orders. I told her I know we don't want the kids in daycare but we need to figure something out because I'm done. I don't want to be in this marriage anymore. I don't want to be her husband anymore. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I don't know what the future holds. What I do know is I'm going to be going through with the divorce. So yeah. I asked my wife for a divorce. She kinda just sat there for a while, got up, and went to bed. It's been a long time coming and I think she didn't think I'd ever actually rip the eject cord. She's been quiet today via texting as well. I know it took me too long to get to this point, but trust me when I say this, it was a lot of me wanting to work it out because I took my marriage vow seriously, and at this point, my soul is intact. The more I think about this whole thing, I realize that it's been a slow build for a long while. I remember once she showed me a TikTok about how when he spent so much time spoiling you but then gets annoyed when you act spoiled and she went that's me. I thought it was funny at the time but looking at it now it's really annoying that I put so much effort into a person who was okay with being lazy because she knew I'd handle it. I always gave her the benefit of the doubt. Encouraged her to make sure she took care of herself. Encouraged her to take those breathers if she needed them. If she was too exhausted I'd be happy to handle it. What that turned into was unless I handled everything, she was pissy. She was rude, nasty, and disrespectful. I just didn't realize it until it was already ingrained in my brain that I need to be doing all these things just to get this person to want to see me and be around me. Anyway, I've told myself once the papers are signed, I'll take a minimum of 6 months before I even look at a woman. I'm always true to my word so. I'm gonna give myself a break. However, I know it'll be hard because, even though, I'm sure people here are like yeah. This man's bout to be single. People who obviously don't know my story will just see a single divorced dad of two and more than likely assume it was my fault the marriage ended. I deserve happiness. I deserve to be loved. I'm terrified of the upcoming battle for my kids. I'm excited to renter the dating pool. Kind A. Not exactly. But again. All of you, thank you for your kind messages and support.